When I was a little kid, um, my dad built a crystal set for me. That got me interested in electronics as a hobby. If any kid opens one of these up and figures out how it works, my job is done. Yeah, you know, nice. I've, I've <laughs> the next, brought somebody the next along generation. to the next generation of engineers. Yeah. Welcome to Family Gamer TV. I'm with Robert Leyland, Senior Engineer yep. at Toys for Bob and responsible for um, the technology around the portal. Yes. And, yep. and plenty of other things as well. So, in Skylanders Giants, I understand the portals are wired. Yes. How has that change come about? Um, partly, be, partly in response to um, the consumers uh, running out of batteries and changing batteries and things like that. But um, it, uh, so we we removed the battery compartment and added you know added the USB cable to to wire the portals, um, and this gave us a couple of a couple of things we could do. One of them is that we could run with the portal continuously on, and we could use the LED illumination and make it brighter, which was something we'd wanted to do on the first one, but had to scale back because otherwise okay. it flattened the batteries too fast. And uh, you know, having the uh, the uh, Wired allows us to have the magic field, the RF field, on all the time, mm -hmm. so that we can have the characters that are light core glow even when the game isn't running, and okay. the giants will still glow on the on the portal when it's not running. Yeah. So it, was, it gave us a couple of win 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 situations. And so the Wii, the PS3, and the 360 will all be wired. Yes. Uh huh. Um, yeah. But the 3DS version, that's still is that battery still? 3DS is still battery. Um, the 3DS actually does have a USB connector on it, so it can be wired. But the, I don't believe there was any change to the 3DS portal. It was it was the same. Um, uh, it was really the the core uh, console uh, uh, portals that mm -hmm. changed. Yeah. 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 And then the toys themselves, mm -hmm. so the light core toys, yes, um, figures light up. Yep. And that will work on the original portal. Oh yes. Or these uh -huh. new portals, whether yep. they're wired or wireless. Wired or wireless. Yep. Even even though uh, on the toy labels it says that they're not actually com not compatible with 2011, the, the toys themselves will work in 2011. But the light core feature, the um, the pow that you get when you when the toy enters the game, doesn't work in 2011. It only works in the 2012 game. So in, in Giants. Yeah. Um, so the toys will actually work. So um, uh, the light core Prison Break is is still Prison Break, and he will still be Prison Break in Sky. Islanders yeah. Adventures, Inspire's yeah. Adventures. So in, in Giants, that light core prison break has a, has a different look when yes. you're playing him. Uh -huh. yeah. And when you bring yeah. him into the game, he has yeah. that sort of smart bomb effect where... Right. And so those yeah. two elements don't happen in don't the happen original in Spyro's yeah, exactly. Adventures. Yeah. But, the, yeah. but the character you can use and oh, yeah. all, it's, all the saving and upgrades. Yeah. All the where. upgrades, he can go to level 10 in and, and 2011 and, and buy his extra beams and, and yeah. crystals and stuff. Yeah. 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 So I mean, the technology behind it. You obviously uh, your desk is an array of the uh, sort of you know contraptions. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. How? What skills did you have to come to do this? Uh, What's okay. Your background. <clears throat> when uh, when I was a little kid, um, my dad built a crystal set for me. Mm -hmm. I mean. Uh, he had helped, you know, he, he built it, but, he, you know, I built it kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, that got me interested in electronics as a hobby. And uh, I, w I played with electronics and amateur radio, and I built a TV camera and uh, a computer and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff Bef when, when I was a teenager and then through high school. Um, when I came to college, computers were the big thing, and I switched to computers fully. Yeah. But it was more about... Um, uh, it was so electronics became a, was a hobby, and over the years I occasionally accumulated electronic pieces in my basement and played around with them a little bit. But I, my focus, of course, was on programming and video game development. When Skylanders came around, uh, we we had this sort of challenge, which was how do we make the toy come to life in the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were a number of, of people doing some really interesting things with Wiimotes and connecting Wiimotes to microcontrollers and, and we used these little Arduino uh, devices. Yeah. This is a, an open source platform mm -hmm. that's made in Italy, lovely little Italy, <laughs> yeah. um, that are uh, extremely popular. Mm -hmm. and so is that a little bit similar to the Raspberry Pi? A little bit. This is this is an earlier earlier yeah. tech than my Raspberry Pi is much more recent. Okay. Um, we're looking at that too, but for something else. Um, yeah. The uh, the the Arduino. We built an Arduino controller 
with a with an RFID interface mm -hmm. and had the toys coming into the game. And I, I you know, they said, well, how are we going to do this? And I said, well, I can do that. And <laughs> yeah. wired it up on my Heathkit training board and did yeah. some of it in my basement at home and then brought it all into work. And gradually I've become more and more hardware oriented and electronics oriented and less and less on the programming side. I still do a bit to keep my hand in because you've got to keep your, got to keep your skills up. Yeah. But, um, but uh, I, you know, I would say I would credit a big part of this to having it as a hobby as a kid mm. and a large part of that I've got to say to my parents and stuff who encouraged me to pull things to bits and to uh, uh, enjoy the process of understanding how something worked. Yeah. And that's, that's really key. If, 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 I could, if any kid opens one of these up and figures out how it works, my job is done. Yeah, you know, nice. I've, I've <laughs> the next, brought somebody the next along generation. to the next generation of engineers. Yeah. Well, along yeah. those lines, I like yeah. the idea that you could take one of these Skylanders mm -hmm. light core figures and you can work out where RFID fields oh, yeah. are, can't you? Just by, so by taking fun. them anywhere. Because these things, I think, yeah. I'm gonna, when I get one, we're going to take it all over town, I think, with my kids and say, Absolutely. look, it, it's not just the portal, it lights yeah. up. It works on our front door, on our front door oh, yeah, locks. Really? It works on the uh, Oyster card readers in London. Yeah, in the, yeah now our local uh, buses have that similar thing as well. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And it, worked, it works on the, uh, the subway system in Hong Kong, um, yeah. because we were there <laughs> last year and tried it out. <laughs> yeah, nice. um, so, I, I, and some uh, um, NFC-equipped cell phones, it will actually blink light mm -hmm. on those as well. They don't light up for very long, but you'll see them blink. Yeah, and, and so, the yeah. new Wii U controller? The that new, has yeah, that has it as well. Although we, we actually can't use that because they did something funny and the character tends to fall off the controller. So we have yeah. a portal for the yeah, Wii U. Yeah, you still have yeah. a Wii U portal. The, yeah. But you could, if you, if you put your like or near a, a Wii U tablet, it would light up. Right, it will light up if, if the application, if, if the oh, game if uses it. If the field's it. enabled. Yeah, 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 if it's enabled. That, that's the thing is, a lot of times those features won't be turned on. So, yeah. um, but, but like people's front doors with the pass keys, that's great fun. So, <laughs> blink, blink, blink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. I'll be, yeah. well, I'll be doing that to my kids. Hopefully yeah. I can inspire them in a similar direction yes. that your dad did. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Well, thanks for your time. That's oh, you're really welcome. That's really interesting. Yep. Thanks. That's all we've got time for this week on Family Gamer TV, but we'll be back with more soon.